Hello, SGDQ 2024. I am the Hockey Towner, joined by Eddie, commentators extraordinaire. We have an amazing Super Metroid Any Percent race right here with four of the most amazing speedrunners you've ever laid your little eyes on. Starting all the way from my left, we've got the quiet professional, the stylin', the profiling, the one round fan tune maining, Emmett. Let's go, Emmett. Next up, we have, who can only be described as the titan of technical acumen, a real cutie. <laughs> These next two names will be no strangers to you GDQ fans. Holding simultaneous world records in 100% and reverse boss order, we've got Shiny Zenny. And last, but certainly not least, we have the current world record holder in Super Metroid Any Percent, Oats and Goats! What do you say, Eddie? What do you say we kick this off? Yeah, I'm definitely ready to kick this off right now. So uh, without further, further ado, I think we can get started. So with that being said, five, four, three, Two, one, go! Woo! All right, hockey. Yeah, super excited to see four of these amazing runners to get off, uh, basically starting off in series. Uh, some of these players doing moonfall right at the beginning, which allows them to uh, fall back a little faster, but otherwise you could just spin jump to the bottom and get through the door. But either way, we're just gonna head straight over to Ridley, uh, get that fight over with as soon as possible, and try to get out of series uh, station before it explodes. Now, you don't want to sleep on Series Station. I feel like this has more reset runs than any other point in this entire category, but this is Exhibition Race. They can't reset, but oh, what's this, Eddie? Oh, it's a I little baby Metroid there. <laughs> it's the baby. That's what we're here for. That's all we wanted. That's right, the baby. So what's the problem? Why can't we? Oh, no. Oh, what is that? oh my oh. gosh, it's Ridley. Oh, my goodness. But instead of shooting him 100 times, Eddie, what are we going to do? Uh, you know what? We're actually just going to damage down so that we get below 30 HP and end that fight right away because uh, otherwise we just have to shoot him 100 times and that's not really going to happen. That's so. not going to happen. It's too, too slow. We got to do it because it's faster. Yep, we're going to get out of here. So uh, right off the bat, we are going to try to be escaping a series uh, station. And one of the th things uh, that we're going to see right here is massively arm pumping. So they're matching L and R. You're going to hear... Uh, Zenny and some other people employing a technique called Zodan pumping where they scrape their fingers across L and R to pump as fast as possible. That lets you move one pixel forward at a time and get you uh, there a little bit faster. But Ceres, uh, once you get that D-boost up there, we're trying to see a time somewhere in the realm of 46 would be amazing. 46 for Oats. And Woo! 45, 45, yeah, amazing nice. times, amazing times. Now, I don't know if you heard that, Eddie, but that sounded like uh, that Zodan pump was tool assisted. Oh, I yeah. I see a screwdriver there sitting on Zenny's uh, desk there. Yeah. Definitely uh, tool assisted speed run. Holding but. a little uh, screwdriver in his hand so he can scrape, like a little better grip. But uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> anything to save the frames, that's what it matters, right? So another way you can save frames is by not saving the animals, too. That's true, yeah. How's that donation it's said to do it, Char? Oh, it's still pretty spicy. Save the animals is still to lead with $31,000. Kill the animals is at $25,000, but people are doing their best. We have a $5,000 donation wow. from Dash Q, who says, Hello, GDQ. Always happy to be here and to see the tradition of save or kill the animals continue. As much as I love the animals, this is a speed running event, so I have to say <laughs> save the frames. But have this donation to kill the animals and half to Mario Maker. Great GDQ this year, and I look forward to many more. Thank you so much. Absolutely, stuff. absolutely stuff. amazing. So, yeah, right off the bat, we're going to see uh, a little bit of tech. We talked about that moonfall earlier. Both, all these players will want to get a moonfall uh, down this climb shaft. Uh, as you can see, they're basically uncapping their fall speed so they fly down as fast as possible. If you don't have moonfall on, then uh, it's going to take four more seconds to do that. And basically, four seconds at this stage, if these players at this caliber, if they lose four seconds, they might actually consider resetting if they're yeah. trying to go for a personal best. Super tough, super tough category. A lot of volatility in this category, but what's not volatile is heading down to Retro Brinstar and getting the first two items of the game, the Morph Ball and those first Missile Pack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting my whole life to hear that. 
<laughs> yeah, we're going to see Zenny try to do a little technique. He's actually not going to wall jump off this pillar. Let's see if he could swing back. Nope, doesn't quite land on there. There's very small optimizations at every stage of the game. I could go on forever <laughs> about all the technical Please details. Please do, Eddie. Please do. <laughs> but it's not realistic. So anyway, they're going to grab these five missiles uh, to wake up the whole uh, wake up the whole world and head back up. Uh, we're going to make our way over to Bomb Teresa where we can get our bombs. That's right. Get our first mid-boss out of the way. But I feel like this next section, going back through Old Mother Brain and up the climb, is that he said, really separates the beginner Super Metroid runners from the absolute seasoned veterans. Several ways to do it. You can do right side wall jumps. You can do the Just Defend or the Behemoth Climb, as some people call it. So these runners are really going to put on a nice clinic for us. From this point on, these rooms are actually some of the most technical rooms, even though it's just at the beginning of the game. You're going to see a damage boost coming out. Uh, they're going to be attempting to do that. So Oats missed it. Uh, looks like QD also missed it. Uh, and Zenny was able to get it over here too. So yeah, right here afterwards, you're going to see the climb. It's very technical at this point. All right side wall jumps. You love to see it. Keep, keep those wall jumps tight. Ooh, yep. Yeah, any missed jump here can be a definite huge time oh, loss. Oh, look at that. Woo! Let's Whoa. go. Clean, clean. So Absolutely clean. clean. All right. This room we call it the parlor. It's another uh, technical room. Lots of jumping, vertical climbing, and a uh, combination of wall jumps and just ledge grabs and jumping as fast as possible. It looks like clean throughout the yeah, board. Yeah, this is looking terrific so far as we head into Bomb Trees. Oh, there's so much depth to the movement, so much hitbox manipulation. You love it. You love to see it. But yeah, they got the Morph Ball Bombs. First mid-boss of the game, Eddie. Yep. What Four are we going to do? I have to say 443 bombs at, at the slowest 441 <laughs> for a cutie. Those are all incredible bombs. Incredible times. Time. But here we go. We're going to see if we can avoid something that you like. What do you call that? Oh, we got to avoid the decapitation animation, Eddie. Of yep. course we do. Absolutely. So all these players, Bomb Terezo has 800 HP. We want to hit Bomb Terezo uh, down, down to 100. Shoot a missile. And uh, finish him off yeah. to avoid. <laughs> four, four out of four, no decapitations today. That's Bomb Terezo defeated. Very nicely done. Head yep. back to the parlor. How about a little Alcatraz escape? Yep. Look First kind of big trick here. Let's see. Yep. Oats gets a little more up there. QD already had. Zenny with the right side. You love to see the rare, <laughs> the rare form. There is something I want to say. Oates is the only player right now that does not have full missiles. You do really want to make sure you have full missiles. Oh, so yeah. You saw him pause right there. That's going to lose him a little bit of time, but he recovered to get those missiles. He also doesn't want to take a hit here. He's the only one I'm really concerned about at the moment. Ooh, oh, just scooted oh, oh. under. Ooh. Whew. So close. All right. Now, the reason why that matters is because uh, all these players want to be leaving with at least two missiles. That's because they need five missiles to open up a red door to do a trick known as early supers. That lets us get super missiles out of sequence. Now, if they don't have full health, they have to rely on RNG on the bugs below to get the five missiles to open the door. So as you can see, it, this is a strat where if you mess it up, you shoot two pea shots and one missile to kill two bugs, and you get four missiles back. And the math works out perfectly. So let's see. Cutie's first up yep. and gets it. Opens that door nice quickly. Nice Cutie. Oh, Oaks with a little misfire there, but Cutie's straight across. So underneath those gates, they intend to have speed booster, but he keeps that run speed with that mock ball. Oats right behind him. Look at Shiny Zenny. Emmett's going to have to do a, a tight backup here. <laughs> Way to go, Emmett. Oh my goodness. Yep, missing that first mock uh, is really difficult. If you guys don't know what a mock ball is, essentially, uh, it's a morph where you can retain the run speed that you have before. You would not be able to make it across normally if you just roll across. So that's right. That's how we get our first supers. Normally, you'd have to kill a spore spawn to do that. Um, but yeah, we're off. We're off. Got a little bit more item collection to go before we, uh, we make the major deviation, the major sequence break of this route. This is the most optimized any percent route. They're going to be going to the wrecked ship instead of fighting Crate first, and that's going to enable them to grab the gravity suit. It's much faster, like, like over two minutes of time save. Yes, it's, it's definitely way faster. However, everything is just so much more dangerous because <laughs> you're fighting bosses out of sequence, things that are you're expected to have way more way equipment. Way more everything. Way more equipment. So the scary part of this is you're going to see all these players, they have 99 HP plus another 100 from the, uh, from the energy tank that they picked up. Fantoon is going to hit for 40 HP Ooh. a pop. And Ooh. typically, they're not going to have more than, let's say, 130 HP. So just four, three or four hits, and they could be dead. Could that could be, be the end of the run. So it gets really tense. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the pivotal moment here, they're going to be heading over to the red tower. And normally, you go down. That's right. However, we are going to be going up 
and we're going to do a sequence of wall jumps that is difficult, and we have to weave through these whippers, uh, rippers. And uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our power bombs and head over to Fantoon. Yeah. Oh, Zenny with a little bit of misfire. Looking for that hero shot to bust those blocks. He's got to head back down, but my goodness. Cutie as well. Look at this from Oates into the Hellway. Saving some, saving some energy, just doing a single D-boost there. Following closer behind. Emmett Rick comes to the top of Red Tower. Excellent. Now they're going to grab their first and only powerbomb pack. It's really just useful for opening uh, orange doors, wouldn't you say, Eddie? What else can yep. you use power bombs for? Well, there is something else you could use power bombs for. It is <laughs> going to be for X-Factor strats oh, down the line, but that's what I mean when we're uh, at Lower Norfair and dealing with of Ridley. Course. So. The special beam combination. We'll be seeing that later. Yep. But now. this is this is the gatekeeper, literally, isn't it, Eddie? Oh, it absolutely is. Now, Hockey, we're getting into a tense moment here. This is probably the first really dangerous spot of the game. It's actually just a pool of water called the moat. <laughs> Now, the reason why this is Who dangerous, <laughs> there's two ways to get across. You get either a perfect frame, perfect jump into a two frame window jump, which is, you can't rely on that. Now, if you don't get that, you have to basically rely on a uh, bomb jump that looks trivial, but is actually just as difficult <laughs> to get across. So first up is Oats. All right, Oats. Looks pretty good. That's the jump. Shiny Zenny Zenny has well. the jump as well. Oh my goodness. Two frame window. Oats yes. gets across. Yeah, yes. two. Yes. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cutie, Cutie and Emmett will be using horizontal bomb jump here, but man, Zenny and Oats with the continuous wall jump across Ooh. the moat. Woo! Let's go. All right, Emmett as well has to do the horizontal bomb jump. Yes. Makes it all across. Four all four across into the wreck ship. Fantastic stuff. Before I cannot we get into the next enough. boss. Sorry, I really quickly want to let everyone know less than fifty thousand dollars to get Super Mario Maker Two added to the schedule. We are going to make this happen, everyone. We're going to make it happen. Oh, absolutely! I can't stress enough how hockey, how scared I was for the runners that I'm not getting across. These are all very elite runners, but it doesn't matter who you are. There are days where you just cannot get across that moat, and you lose minutes, you minutes, can't. or even. But more. then you're you're rewarded from crossing the moat with the next the next big roadblock of the route, which is this boss Fantoon. Yep. So Fantoon has three patterns: slow, mid, and fast. So there is RNG dependent. Now we're gonna see probably three of these four runners go for a attempt a one round Fantoon if they get the ammo. And oh, Oats oh. is not going to be able to attempt Land that. Ooh, not a good Doppler yeah, for Oats. I didn't Oates. get a lot of that Doppler. Look at Zenny, though. Come on. Okay. Oh, very nice from Zenny. Oh, Oats not getting that Doppler to connect either on the second round. Cutie and Emmett starting off their first patterns now. Okay, so here we go. There's so many Fantune patterns on them. Ooh, Oats gets scammed with a slower pattern. And Zenny has really opportunity nice to definitely get a two round here. Ooh. And Fantu not being kind to these runners whatsoever. Ooh, yeah, everyone having some trouble on Fantu, it looks like. Oats get a fast reappear. So I think Oats will be the first to finish it up right here. Zenny should be shortly behind. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Cutie's got to watch that energy, though, Eddie. He's got less than 100. Ooh, 48 for Cutie. Still has the ability to take one more hit. Yes. OK, yes. there we go. There we go. Woo. Emmett's going to have to let Fantune potentially go off screen here. Finishes him off. Very well played. Very, very well played. nicely done. Patient. Very patient. All right. So all four players getting past Fantune. And uh, yeah, I had me nervous there. <laughs> races are one of those things where if you have to fight Fantune in a race, things often don't go the way that you no. want. There's just so much pressure. Every missile that you shoot has to be so tight because if you miss it once Fantoon disappears off screen. Absolutely. But I mean here we go. Getting a two round in a race is hard enough, let alone a one round. I mean give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you saw them grab those super missile packs. That's going to be it for supers for these runners. I mean, resource management, especially ammo management, is so crucial to this any percent. Wouldn't you say, Eddie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. You know, one thing I'm going to say about ammo-wise, everyone else looks pretty good on the power bombs. However, Oats, there's this one power bomb he has to use right now, and he's going to have to get some more later because uh, there's a lot of power bombs you're going to need, especially when you do X-Factor strats. Down the line, we'll talk about them more when we get to Ridley. So everyone's ammo is actually looking quite good. Oh, yeah. The only thing I would say is Oates' power bomb count is quite bad. That means he's going to have to use some strategies to maybe farm some power bombs on his way to Upper Norfair. No, for sure. For sure. But 
Cutie and Emmett taking 10 and 9 into the attic is uh, absolutely unbelievable. Oh, it's, it's to the across hilt. the board. To the hilt with supers and regular missiles. Oats wishes he grabbed that power bomb right there that he missed out on. All right, so Oats is going to get through this bowling uh, sequence. Now, this is really dangerous because oh, yeah. all the spikes hit for 60. <laughs> Meaning, if you don't have at least 121 HP and you take two hits, uh, you're going to die. Yeah. So, uh, dying and is not simple. Good. But Zenny and Oats both making it across, and uh, we're going to see QD cannot take a third hit. Sometimes you have a uh, full HP like Emmett does right now, and you can take a third hit. But let's sure. see. Looks like, looks like QD's across, Emmett's about to start. But Char, how about some donations? Oh, you got it. We have $200 from Apathy Duck, who says, Hey, QTY, yeah? Yeah, there's something I want to say. I see you claw your controller. It looks really painful to me. <laughs> also, don't corn dog it on the big stage. Also, good luck to Zenny and the other guy, too. I think his name is Todd. <laughs> I'm sure we're having some struggles with our runner names because we also have $25 from Violet the Fox Girl who says to the runner arc who also happens to be my partner. I know how much it means to you to get to play this game on this stage alongside these amazing runners and commentators and also Emmett. I love you so much and I am so, so proud of you. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. That's we also have $100 from Liftham1 who says, don't forget about Mario. Mario, People are not forgetting about Mario. No. $78,000 out of the $125,000 oh needed gosh. to unlock that game. Almost two-thirds of the way there. Come on, Chad. Come on, SGDQ. We got to get that Mario Maker incentive bet. Troll level race. Let's do it. Let's do it. But look at that Look at that hot new paint job that Samus has got on her armor there. Yeah, What's that, that all about? That nice gravity suit. That's going to allow us to kind of get through that water uh, very quickly without having any sluggish movement. But it's also going to do heat protection because uh, the game doesn't expect you to actually get gravity <laughs> before Varia. So the other thing is we're going to take 25% reduced damage on everything that very we nice. have. So yeah. what that means is as we head over to Upper North Fair, uh, everything is actually just kind of a joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing's going to really threaten us at this point, but uh, that doesn't mean that for Norfair is not chock full of difficult movement to get across. Oh, yeah. This is a spot where if you're a speedrunner, you could absolutely lose a lot of time. I will say that Oates had to go and kill that frog real quick because he only had, he had zero power bombs. Zero power bombs so yeah. the question is, is he going to use the power bomb here to break this Meridia tube? Everyone else will because they have an excess. Uh, but first we're going to grab that spazer to get that extra damage That's for right. Mother Brain and Ridley. If anyone's wondering why, don't we, why we don't get the plasma beam in this route, it's just too far out of the way. This spazer's faster. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Seppi. <laughs> All right, Oats and uh, Zenny neck and neck here, but uh, Cutie right, and yeah. Emmett not far behind yeah, you. Cutie and Emmett are right on their right on their heels, Eddie. All right, so Oats is probably going to go ahead and use this power bomb. Right? Oh, is he going to not lay it here? Oh wow! He's yeah. not going yeah, to. All right. Hard. Now, uh, what I will say is, every other person will be breaking the tube here. It is theoretically a little bit faster to use the power bomb. Uh, when you're leaving the high jump boots room. So that's what we're going to see Oates do. He's going to have to remember to break that tube later after oh, yeah. the raid fight. But yeah, I think, we have, PB. I think we have time for a few donations uh, as they go and collect all these items. For sure. Absolutely. We have a $1,500 donation from Zoid. <laughs> well, you're clapping now. I'm not sure if you will when you hear this. Save, always save the animals. <sighs> uh... But that bid is getting close. We're only about $4,000 difference there. And we are also very close to 80 thousand dollars on that Super Mario Maker 2 incentive, so we are loving to see that keep moving. Let's go. We also have some donations for Oats. We have $25 from Anonymous who says, let's go Oats. No excuses. Focus and execute. <laughs> and then we have $500 from Wiza who says, good luck to all the SM runners. You guys are awesome and each of you has a chance to win. Except Oats, he'll never be able to execute again. Just <laughs> kidding, you <laughs> fail it. <God. laughs> oh my goodness. We have $250 from QZCX who says, good luck Zenny, Emmett, Oats, and Cutie, hoping for everyone to finish in a close race. Thank you so much, everyone. Terrific, terrific. The Super Grancher community is honestly just absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, so generous, and everyone oh, yeah. here is just awesome. So it's, it's been a great time. You know, everyone says their speedrun community is the best, but this is our speedrun community. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple items picked up. Yes. High jump boots, mm -hmm. and now another beam. Yep. Ice beam. Yes, we got the ice beam. So that's going to let us do a few things. Uh, namely, we're going to have a little bit more damage. It's going to let us do a, a Zeb skip down the line. But uh, we definitely want to get that ice to do this ice yeah. escape as well. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah a tight trick to uh, get that quick mock ball retainer run speed to make it through the gates from the birds. <laughs> now, Eddie, I, I got to 
rub my eyes a little bit here. Cutie is gaining on Zenny like nobody's business. This is getting really tight here. Yeah. But Oates establishing a really strong pace. Yeah, absolutely. No less expected from the current world record holder. So there's a lot of... Uh, there's still a lot of run left. We're it's so hard to in. say because we're 18 minutes in and everything in Super Metroid, these players are making it look easy, frankly, right? They but really are. you pick up the Super Metroid, contro Metroid controller for the first time, you try to play this game, you're going to be like, what is going on? Is my controller busted? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. We're going to see Oates try to get up this bubble mountain. He's going for the right side. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's go. Beautiful execution. You want to talk about focus and execute, Chad. My goodness. Yep. Only in Super Metroid, you're going to see Zenny do a more traditional strat where you just kind of gain speed from the left side. But only in Super Metroid do we pop off when <laughs> Oates does simply a wall jump off the right side of the wall. But to be frankly honest, that's a really difficult wall it's jump. Tough. It's easy to just lose tons of time if you miss it. You're going to see Zenny employing some more uh, Zoden pumping, basically <laughs> just scraping uh, the fingernails across the L and R button to arm pump and save a few times. Ooh, but kind of misses the door there a little bit, but it's okay. All right. And uh, Oats, his resources, nine supers. That That's good. incredibly good. Now, for the purposes of a race, we'll maybe consider, we'll probably see him maybe farm a little bit more. Uh, yeah, and that's yeah. that's going to be it. So you definitely don't want to have maybe less than, say, seven supers ish leaving. So we're going to probably see Zenny potentially farm a little bit more than Oats, but we'll see the others. I think you'll see more farming out of Cutie. Yes. But Emmett has fantastic resources. Oh, yeah. He might be able to get away with a one farm or even skip the farms entirely. Mm hmm. Now, these missiles that we're going to see right now from Oats, technically optional, but for race purposes, technically. you get those missiles. Yeah. yeah, you get those missiles. Otherwise, your run can basically be ruined by one piece of RNG from a turret at the end of the game, uh, and you're barely really losing time by creating those missiles in the first place. It's like a hyper-optimization to skip those missiles. Oh, yeah. So we're going to see all these runners probably pick that up. Oh, nice bad cave from Emmett. Very nice Ooh. room. But completing the beam combo is the wave beam, so that is the the PRKD full beam combination. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's not that great, Eddie. I think plasma's better. Yeah, it's a little bit better, but uh, it's just too far off the path. Oh. We can't we can't get it. I'm sorry. Too far off the beaten path. What a shame. Okay, we're getting uh, <laughs> we're getting ready to. Oh yeah. We might, I might need to hold my breath here, Eddie. Yep. All right. So first big trick. Uh, well, I mean, there's been a lot of big tricks, but we're going to see the attempt. It's called Lava Spark. We're going to see Oats store a short charge, damage boost, and have enough time to spark up. We'll see if he can nail it. It's a crucial trick to nail in this category, and all four runners are going to go for it. Here we go. Doesn't quite get it. That's okay. He's going to just do a gravity jump. He didn't feel good about that, and he's going to do a gravity jump. Yep. This is a, in a much easier backup. However, it is slower, and we're going to see if Zenny is going to go for it. For sure. This is a great opportunity for Zenny to catch up. But yeah, the backups in this game are just so, so vital. But here's Zenny now. Oh! You know what? That's not the worst because his health is still okay, right? So he's just going to do a gravity jump right here. And Cutie, yes, nails it. Yes, Cutie. Firmly in second place now, Eddie. My goodness. This is another chance for Emmett to also make up time here. But we have Oates entering Lower North Bear. Lower I'm North scared, North. hockey. Hold the hockey. I'm scared. Everything in this section could just kill you instantly. So uh, let's see if Oates can get this Pillar Spark over here first. Very nice. Pillar Spark. Okay. Fast pillars. Now we call this the worst room in the game. He's going to have to lay a power bomb at the very peak, break the blocks at the top, and wall jump while the pirate is getting hit so we can eye frame essentially through. And yes. makes it up, okay. Yes. There's still a pirate he's gonna have to yep. leave over at the top. Oh, and yeah. Makes it up. Okay, here we go. Woo. Fast pillars from Cutie as well. Fast pillars from Zenny. Okay. Him it down into lower north here. Now, uh, we're gonna see right now with Oates, he is going to make his way up uh, through this room. We call it the amphitheater. There's rising acid. He's gonna try to get a short charge right here, and it's gonna look a little bit weird. But. Oh, Zenny having some trouble in the worst room in the game. He's gotta reload the game. Oh, Zenny with 25 energy. HP. Oh my god. Oh no, Cutie, Cutie is also getting get out of there. Get up, Cutie! Cutie, get out of the acid! Setting on the recovery, we're through in the game. Cutie recovering in amphitheater. Emmett now! Oh my gosh, both these players are oh so my low HP. Gosh. Emmett reloading fast pillars here, just looking for that short charge before worst room in the game, but. Holy oh my Toledo, god, Eddie, what is going on? I can't on? breathe, Hockey. I can't either. Oates is just 
you know, taking a strong lead, not really making too many mistakes here, but Emmett also, oh, okay, save it, save it. Oh, okay, oh, so that's close, okay. Emmett. He's gonna reset. And it looks like uh, Zenny is able to slightly stabilize here, but Zenny with only 35 HP, if he gets hit by one of the hoppers in the oh next room. Oh my gosh, room, yeah, the ski gets. They do 40, so that's enough. Now, QD is mostly going to be safe here, uh, getting through these metal pirates, but Zenny cannot make a mistake here. Emmett, once again, Absolutely. trying to get up the worst room in the game. Shine Spark, Shine Spark finish on those metal pirates for QD, farming up their energy. But oh my gosh, 28 energy for. Come on. Emmett through the worst from the game, and Oates is beginning the Ridley fight, opening with that X Factor. Yep, absolutely. So if you have just Wave Beam Equip with the charge shots, and you have Power Bombs, you can use a special beam combination that uh, brings out a bunch of particles, and that's a strong way to enter that Ridley fight. So uh, Oates only can get two off. Optimally, you'd want to get uh, up to four, but uh, because of our Ridley RNG, was not able to do that. So that's OK. Two X Factors is fine. We can still get a fast fight out of it. Cutie starting his Ridley fight too. It, so Oates with a good head start here on this Ridley fight, but still haven't seen the first or second color change. He's got nine supers on tap. Be able to do some colossal damage to Ridley once that uh, once he's closer to death. Yep. So the counting we're going to do here is after Ridley turns red. When we see we have nine supers, that's going to be 11 charge shots on top of the nine supers. So you know right now all these players, when they see Ridley turning red, they're all counting in their head exactly how many charge shots to do because Ridley does not die until you trigger the death sequence. And that right. requires jumping into his claws or letting him grab you in a specific moment. So right there, you just saw Oates yep. jump into the Woo! claws and finish the fight off. Great fight wow. for Oates. Eamon finished off Metal Pirates. Cutie now locked in mortal combat with Ridley here. Still got those eight supers on tap, just look, trying to manipulate that pogo pattern. Yep, Zenny also looking like he's going to be making short work of Ridley soon. Has to fire off those supers. And I like this remote's picking up that E-Tank. That's a great safety. Yep. Yes! Cutie finishing off Ridley. Zenny is so close. Okay, so the Ridley E-Tank, that is technically slightly suboptimal. Typically, we only need three E-Tanks to beat the game. You're going to see Cutie skip yes. that. So Cutie, uh, with a lot of health, is going to just go ahead and skip it. So keep in mind, the exit leaving Nor Nor oh. Norfair is more dangerous than the it's Ridley fight itself. Going down there. Ridley hits you for 40 sometimes. Nice fight for Zenny. But the Key Hunters leaving from Nor Norfair hit you for 50. What's up with that? What's up with that? I don't get it. But that being said, Cutie's health is good, so he felt confident about it. He's going to save the third E-Tank for later, whereas Oates is going to grab that E-Tank right now because he was not confident in the drops of health that he got. Just missed that speedball from Oates, leaving the wasteland. Cutie really gaining time on Oates here. Will Cutie get the speedball? Oh, oh okay, there we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, taking Oates the lead out. right now, Cutie. Okay, so here we go. Now, we have a manipulation coming up right now. Oates is uh, specifically moving back and forth to see if he can not get hit by these key hunters. We're going to see other players, look at that, parting uh, in the middle. So those uh, key hunters not hitting Oates on the way down. And now we're going to see Zenny get through uh, this room and... Oh, beautiful. Reverse. <laughs> Reverse through there with the speed keep. Emmett, though, got Ridley on the ropes, folks. Ridley's going down for Emmett. Let's go. All right, just a few more charge shots left. And that's yes. it. All four players. All four the players. This Something is the... else that's super hype is we are over $1.7 million raised for Dodgers and Borders. Let's Less go. than 300000 to go the to damage, our final Take the milestone. Damage. Cutie, be careful. Oh, Cutie using Cutie. a debut strategy. Oh. <laughs> Now, oh my goodness, Cutie. Cutie taking that initial hit was completely on purpose. He's so much health that he decided to de-boost, damage boost off the first musketeer to make it through. So Who thinks of these things, Eddie? I want people as crazy as Cutie because he <laughs> wants to catch up to Oats and he wants to beat him. This is really something special. Zenny now on the escape heading into three musketeers pretty soon. Emmett into the wasteland, but this is really interesting the way this is shaking out between Oats and Cutie. Yes. Definitely. So uh, we're definitely at a little bit of a lull right here. So Emmett is probably the person that's at most danger. Did not collect that E-Tank. Is going to collect the one later. Uh, however, his health is pretty good. He's probably in a good spot. Three look good. And we're going to see Oats, Cutie, Zenny, and Emmett once uh, the, the, the other two get out. We're going to head over to Kraid and make sure work a bit. But until yeah. then, uh, it's, it's pretty easy. And I think we have time for maybe a few donations. All you right. got it. We have $10 from Twitchy TF2 who says Emmett is a close friend of mine. So I had to donate during his run. I'm so thankful we met because of this game, and I'm proud to see you running it at GDQ. Good luck to all the runners, and kill the animals! Woo!
We also have $50 from Aaron who says, save the Marios and kill the Yoshis. Let's see that Mario <laughs> oh. Maker 2 run. And that Mario Maker 2 run is over $91,000. Let's go, we're less so than 30, close. Less than 34000 to go. That is the next game. We have to meet that as soon as we, we can. We gotta do it. Please we get your donations do in, assign them to that Super Mario Maker 2 incentive. Let us know that you want to see that at GDQ. Audience, do you want to see it at GDQ? Woo! Emmett with a picture perfect lower north fair escape resources looking terrific but we've got simultaneous crate fights here little crate quick kill stun lock three supers down goes crate too easy Ooh. oh okay let's see if you can get this back up easy like excellent, sunday excellent. morning baby oh my goodness cutie the backups are 10 times as hard as the main script. I have to say, Cutie is doing every stop right now. You saw Cutie just kind of jump into the spikes. We don't do that for fun. Everything that we do is very calculated. He is basically trying to reduce lag <laughs> to save a few frames just to catch up to Oats just because catch up. He, he is a man on a mission to take Oats out of this race. Playing like a man possessed. A man of singular vision. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Zenny about to start his crate fight. Emmett, though, not far behind going, leaving Norfair, though, the key to this route is the single dip into Norfair. You never have to come back to it. Very nicely done. But our runners will be heading to Meridia next, which don't sleep on Meridia. It's got peaceful, serene-sounding music, Eddie, but it is anything but easy. Woo! Oats is going to have to break this tube. Yeah. All right, so what keep in mind, Cutie? that means Cutie's not going to have to break the tube, so he's actually way closer than it might seem right now. So... Meridia, this whole section, we've, we've said it before, Meridia is a place where runs go it's to die. It's where runs go to die. It's not necessarily, except for maybe Dragon, your, 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 your ability to survive is not as dangerous as something like Lauren Orfer. However, there's so many tricks where if you miss it, you lose 15 seconds. You lose 20 seconds, thinking, things can compound. If you mess up the Dragon fight, you mess up the Batuun fight, run over if you're going oh, no. for a PB. And uh, basically, we've seen races determined by Meridia. So, Oats is first up. He's going to be heading over to Batwoon. We're going to see uh, uh, a D-Factor strat. Nice. Nice. Great, great, great kill. Oh, is that gain in two? It's beautiful mock ball out of Crade Warehouse there. Varia suit for Emmett. Yep. And now setting up for the last mid-boss of the game. This is Batwoon. Yep. And here we go. X-Factor. He's going to swing that over to hit Batwoon in the Boom. face. And six supers will do the trick. Here Nicely we go. Nicely done, Oats. Beautiful. But Cutie's saying, anything you can do, Oats, I can do better. Yep. And Look we got at the same Oats, pattern. We got your favorite trick, Aki. Where is it? It's called, what's it called? What's it called? Oh, oh, you missed it. You no. missed it. The mock ball into the tunnel. Mock ball into the tunnel. Say it with me if you know it. <laughs> Yahtzee! <laughs> Now, oh my goodness. Something I want to point out. Oats did not have to get that E-Tank. No, so he, he got the Ridley E-Tank and he had full health leaving Bot's wound. What that mean? Well, first of all, let's see this full half here from full Oats. Happy. Here we go. Yes. All the way across. Cutie saying Cutie? anything you can do, Oats. Whoa, oh, let's yes. go. Oh, look at that from Zenny. Perfect pattern. Another Bot's wound goes down. Very nicely done. D-Factor strats. Something else that's pretty hype. Less than 30,000 to go on that Super Mario Maker 2 incentive. Over three-fourths of the way there. Please help us add that game to the marathon. Yahtzee! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to see this Dragon fight. How we start off, we're going to see different strategies from both, but... Oats is going to do something called the Rain Dance. They're essentially going to do the same thing. They're going to do this X-Factor, try to get all four particles to hit, along with the Shine Spark to get Dragon's health down below half. That's a good opener That's for Oats. great opener. Let's go. Great opener from Cutie, though. Fire a few missiles. A couple missiles, finish them off. Two in blue. There we Let's go. Let's go. Cutie, get the short charge. Oh! Oh, Cutie misses oh, the short charge. Gooped. Oh, and Oats is going to bomb jump out of here. He's keeping the blue suit. Okay. Emmett having to, ooh, just missing the one round. Oh, ooh, okay, so Cutie in some Cutie. trouble. Now we're gonna see Oats, he's in a glitch state right now, is able to keep a spark here that you can't normally do because of this glitch state. Sparks right across again. Reverse full happy. Oh, Cutie has to be so careful. This has no so HP, dangerous. could absolutely get killed no here. No ammo, no HP. Cutie, no! Mash, oh. mash, mash, mash! So, Oats flying away in the lead right now, and this is Zenny's chance to catch up, as well as Emmett's. Oh, 
Girl, love that, love that farm strat from Emmett there, but oh my goodness. I think this spark will be enough. Oh, just a little late. Senny defeating Dragon Blade. He's the most consistent spike suit getter, for lack of a better phrase, but does not, does not do it any. Oh, Ooh. don't get it, cutie. Cutie. Just has to be a little bit careful here. One my hit. heart is in my throat right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, we have Zenny flying across. Cutie's gonna have to get out of the clutches of Dragon right here, and that's what we're yes! talking about. Woo! Cutie! <laughs> yes! Down goes Dragon! Oh, and gets the spike suit. That's the glitch state that's oh gonna let him keep gosh. the spark across. So far, the only one to get spike suit has been Cutie. Yep. Emmett is gonna oh go ahead gosh. and start this fight up, and Oats is flying over to that G4. It looks like he is going to be able to be the first person there. And uh, wow, this has been an incredible been race so far. Emmett, though, starting off, opener with that X Factor against uh, against Dragon here, looking to land that Shine Sparks. The only boss in the game that takes damage from uh, Shine Sparks. All right, let's see if we can get that two round from Absolutely. Oh, okay, there Textbook. we go. Textbook, Textbook, Dragon. Oh, and, and the spike suit. suit. Emmett, you mad lad. A double frame perfect trick double that allows you to keep your uh, spark to get across. So uh, we're going to see Emmett, without having to store a spark anywhere, is just going to be able to freely spark across. We saw that earlier as well from the other runners. But uh, yeah, here we go. We have... <laughs> oh, actually, he's Fired up in That's the okay. That's okay. I love it. That's okay. We'll just oh. get there a little bit slower. We'll it's no big... The scenic route. The scenic route. The scenic route. Okay. Oh my goodness, Eddie. This has been... Captivating, spellbinding, edge of your seat Super Metroid action that we've seen here today. It's yeah. a shame it has to come to an end. I know, but that being said, we have a little bit of a downtime for Oats. That being said, it's not over yet. The run still goes the on. It's not over until on. they get on the ship. We also just crossed a hundred thousand dollars toward that oh Super Mario Maker 2 bonus Let's game. Let's go! Please keep those donations in. Do you have time for a quick donation as well? Yeah, absolutely. Keep roll those beautiful donations. <laughs> You got it. We have $250 from Sassy Zenny. Yeah. He says, I like my animals smoked low and slow and served with barbecue sauce. <laughs> Save the frames, kill the animals. So a little bit behind there, but people are working to try to make that one happen. And we have lots of people working on that Mario Maker 2 race as well. $250 from Anonymous who says, let's get that Mario Maker 2 race. Do you have time for a few more? Absolutely. Yep. We have $250 from Flyrant, who says, super excited for this Super Metroid race. Good luck to Oats, Senny, Emmett, and Senny, twice. <laughs> I'll donate 15 more dollars for each runner that hits the baby skip. Oh my gosh. I challenge Twitch chat to join me so that we can get that Elden Ring DLC. We are now less than that $300,000 away from that $2 million milestone that will get us that extra DLC content. So please make sure you get your donations in. All donations go towards that milestone. But if you want to help us meet Mario Maker, you do need to assign those donations towards that incentive. GameStoQuick.com slash donate. Now, Eddie, yes. resources. Yes, Torian. resources. So, Oats with four E-Tanks and having a lot of super missiles coming in. However, not getting too many right now. We want to come out with at least 15 missiles and 10 supers. You can go to get away with uh, 20 and 9, but Oats definitely just wants to make sure, and that looks like he's going to be good. Is he going to super the last pack, or is he going to keep it safe and just missile it? That's the question I here. Just missile it here. Yep. Okay. All, All right, say full, and full resources heading into baby skip. Now, Oats has a strong lead here. However, the Metroid rooms are obviously scary, and we have a very dangerous moment here. It's called the baby skip. There has been new technology. <laughs> new technology, Well, we make Eddie. the baby go clockwise. It only happened in the last few years. So we're going to see Oats start on the left side of the baby, and we're going to do a clockwise baby skip to save a few seconds. And let's see if Oats can nail it here. Shout out to Stachio, kid. Looks good so far. Oh, he's going oh, he the three the jump. Three the jump. Three oh jump. my gosh. Makes it through. <laughs> oh my gosh. He got the three jump. Oh my goodness. What was he thinking? That's not race safe. <laughs> and heads up, save or kill the animals will close <laughs> when we start to fight Mother Brain. Get your last donations in now for that incentive if you want any chance of killing these animals. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, Zeb Skip. If you get past it, you stand on that frozen rink and you avoid spawning the rest of them down back into that very nicely done from Oats. Emmett into G4, but Shiny Zenny and Cutie into Metroid Ruins. No, Zenny into Baby Skip. Eddie. Right. 
All right, no turret snipes. So Oats is going to start this Mother Brain 2 fight. They cannot get below 301 300, HP. 301. If they get below 300 HP, that means Oats effectively has 159 HP to work with. Takes too many hits, takes a hit from a catch up, gets double hit. That's right. The run is over and he is gone. So it's not over until this fight is done and they get on that ship. Look at this from Zenny leaving those charged bombs. Oh, no! Oh, wait, wait, hold on. No. Oh, oh no! The slowdown. Zenny's gonna have to save. He's gonna have to save and have to reset. Save and, re save and reset. To lose the slowdown, there's no other way. Oh my god, what an opportunity for Cutie here. Imminent in the Metroid room, so having no problem at all. Resources are looking terrific, but if Cutie can nail this baby skip, as Oats is just giving Mother Brain to the business. Oh! oh! Cutie just barely misses that jump. All right, so you're gonna see Zenny save quickly, reset, and then reload the save to get rid of that baby slow. It is there permanently until you reset. That's so right. that's how you fix it. Obviously, that's gonna be a big time loss. Cutie also missing that is gonna have time loss, letting Emmett catch up. But Oats oh, on this final fight, six charge shots. We're already at that 75% mark. That's why we see the catch up beam. And uh, one super that Oats fired off also counts as one charge shot. So just a few, just a few more. A few more. Oh. Here's that meatball. Yes. And that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. All right, Zeddy making short work of Mother Brain 2, just avoiding that turret snipe. Emmett on the baby skip. Four jump. Yes. That's it. Yes. That's the baby skip. Right, so Cutie getting started, and we have Oats getting through that cutscene. Two people on the mother brain, and we have Emmett just behind. This Less than $13,000 to go on our bonus game, by the way. 13000 make it happen. Let's do it, SGDQ. Let's do it. You only get one shot at this. All right, Emmett starting off that fight. We have Zenny in the middle of it, and we have Cutie uh, getting through that fight as well. Wow. Very nicely done. We have a quick $200 donation here from Zoob who says, yay, Samus. Shout out to Samus. <laughs> Shout out to Samus for sure. The best space bounty hunter of all time. I have to agree, Eddie. I have to agree. Oh my gosh. What? Cutie took a barrage of onion rings. Oh Has my God. one yes. HP yes. to work with. One. To one, he cannot take another hit at all. Talk about skinny your teeth. The baby. Oh no. The baby. But they gave us this awesome hyper beam. Look at this. Completely worth it in my opinion. Oh, an absolute fury. Oates is gonna fire a bunch of these hyper beam shots into Mother Brain 3, the third phase, uh, to finish this off and head over to the ship to All finish right. off to the finish race. off any percent. Oh my goodness, catch up phase for Cutie and that's it for Mother Brain 3 for Oats and Goats, which we'll, we will find out if we are saving or killing today. I apologize to everyone in the audience and everyone doing the run, but we are saving those animals. All right, save those animals. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. In good news, we're less than $9,000 away from our bonus oh game. We are gosh. so close. Come on. So close. Cutscene for Zenny. Cutscene for Cutie Emmett, though, with a strong start and a strong finish for this mother brain. That is, oh man, all four runners completing mother brain too. SCDQ, make it louder for these four runners. Are you Give kidding it up me? For these runners finishing, all four runners finishing is absolutely insane. It's considering been eight years since we've had this game. And we last time we had that, I believe we only had one finisher last time. <laughs> it is incredible that all four of these runners are able to finish to get through, but we do have to save the animals. That's okay. And I do oh. want to say as much as we beamed about it, the bid war for save and kill the animals raised over seventy thousand dollars for Let's Doctors go. Without Borders. Into parlor, nothing but steam RNG and a couple of ledge grabs. All right, fortunately, Oates was able to remember that we have to go over there. <laughs> Not like a muscle member take over. 
Oh my gosh. There they are, they're saved. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Sutton Show them, Oates, show them. Show them. Is that right. Mother Brain 3? And here we go, we're finally reaching the end of it. What's left, hockey, what's, what's left? left? One door transition. The ship has never looked sweeter, Eddie. And here we go, Oates getting through the steam. Will he get the blue? Makes it up. Time. GG! GG, Oates and Ghost. But we're not done yet, Eddie. We got three more runners. Zenny on the escape now, followed closely behind by Cutie. We also have less than $5,000 to go on our bonus game. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's, go. Crew. let's do this. We're, they're donating by the truckload, Eddie. Surely <laughs> we're going to make it. I can't stress enough how much, how impressive it is. We've had races in the past. We have. Where the, the completion rate typically is under 50%. So for all four people, is, even though they're so great, this has been incredible. To actually pull it off and all of them completing without dying is incredible. I can't, I can't stress enough how good that is. Just make sure to save the animals. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is participating in a race of their own. Only 3,000 left on that bonus game. Can we oh meet it before gosh, the racers finish it? this Just run? Just a few more. SGDQ Emmett is on the escape right now. Wait, wait, wait. Zeddy, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Zeddy, turn around. Zeddy, turn around. You can't hear. Oh, okay, all right, all right. He's Zeddy, what's he doing? Go, Zeddy, go. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no way. All right, who's going who's gonna to come in second, Zeddy? Oh, my gosh. Here. It's neck and neck. Cutie's right on his tail. Oh, here we go. Will Cutie get a shine spark going in? That's, that's, that's. that's oh, here we yeah, go. Look at this, look at this. Oh, him with a beautiful behemoth spark up that climb into the parlor. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah, Cutie. He's sparking out of there. Oh, my gosh. Now we got Emmett. Emmett's got to go and save the animals right now. Almost two. And Zenny coming Zenny in coming second, second place. place. Less than 1,000 to go for that bonus 1, game. to go. Emmett saved the animals. That's Cutie done. Stunt on them, Emmett. Stunt on them. <laughs> Let's go. 500 bucks. 400. 470. No, 370. I can't even add any. Oh, $200. 200 All right. And Emmett. Emmett had it up there. And as Ivan crosses, it looks like yeah! the challenge is completed! Yeah! We have a lucky yeah! bonus game Super Mario Maker 2 coming up Woo! next! Thank you so much, everyone! <laughs> Woo! Sorry about the feedback. <laughs> Oh my gosh.